doing here, huh, Motley? What are you doing? Come on, boy, over here. Huh? What? Come on, Motley. Hmm? Come here, boy. Come on. Come on. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey, you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With, a, with the Washington Post. It's a song called Oxycodone. And um, what happened was we were driving in the car one day. We got an email from my dad. And he had emailed me a link to an article written by a gentleman named Nick Miroff, who now I think is in like Cuba or Colombia or something, but um, at the time had just done an, um, interviews with folks down in Tazewell County, Virginia, where I was from. And the, the article was called A Dark Addiction, and what it was about was about coal miners who had gotten injured in the mine and then had found themselves... Um, going to the hospital or going to doctors for painkillers and being prescribed Oxycontin and uh, slowly forming an addiction to that drug, losing their home, losing their uh, family, losing their job. And um, they had just opened a methadone clinic in Tazewell County where I'm from. And it was a pretty controversial move because some people felt like it was a shame. That's what they said. It's a shame that we have this methadone clinic in our county. But in fact, it was the way that morning to be at the methadone clinic by 5 o'clock so that they could get a cup of liquid methadone for $12 and then go on to their job from there. And when I read their story, I felt like they deserved their own song. So um, bear with us, we don't do this one that much, but we'd love to do it for you. It's called Oxycodone.